One kiss now. You let go of me, you big slug. Hey. Hey, what's the matter? I didn't mean to push you down. Hey, wake up. Ah. Uh. Gee, you socked your head on the bunk. I was scared for a minute. I'd killed you. Killed, is it? It would take more than a bit of a blow to crack my thick skull. But glory be, it's a power of strength is in them two fine arms of yours. There's not a man in the world can say the same as you, that he's seen Matt Burke lying at his feet and him dead to the world. Yeah, I'm sorry it happened. Only you had no right to be getting fresh with me. Listen now, and don't be getting any more wrong notions. I'm on this barge because I'm making a trip with my father. The captain's my father. I'm sorry. I'm thinking I ain't good enough to be kissing the shoe soles of a fine, decent girl the like of yourself. So if you'll forgive me, we'll be friends from this out. I'm thinking I'd rather be friends with you than have my wish for anything else in the world. Your hand, girl. Sure. Heaven bless you, girl. Ouch, my hand. Oh, oh it is a clumsy ape I am. Sure, it is great power I have in my hand and arm, and I do be forgetting it at times. Gee, you're some strong, all right. I am that, praise God. And I'm telling you there's the will of God in it that brought me safe through the storm and fog to the one spot in the world where you was. Think of that now, and isn't it queer? Anna, you get in your cabin, you hear? Who do you think you're talking to, a slave? You need get a rest, Anna. You've got to get sleep. What are you doing here, you sailor fella? You ain't sick like others. You get in folks. But he is sick. Look at him. He can hardly stand up. Get in folks. He's a giving me orders, you army bucko. Let you look out, then. With one hand, weak as I am, I can break you in two and fling the pieces over the side and your crew after you. I'll... <laughs> no, no, I, I was forgetting. You're her old man and I'll not raise a fist to you for the world. I... I think I'd better sit down. Here. Here, get back in that bunk. You're going to stay here in this cabin till you're well. I'll take care of you myself. Oh, Anna. Anna, sure, it's a sweet name and suited to an angel. You stay here, Anna. You stay. Yes. Then I don't. <laughs> That's your dirty trick. All devil see. But you don't do that. Not while I live. No, by you, you don't. Anna Christie, starring Joan Crawford and Spencer Tracy with George Marion Sr. A week has gone by, and the barge is traveling south again, due in New York on the following day. In the cabin, Chris pretends to read, glaring hatefully over the paper at Burke and Anna. Anna's been knitting. She moves toward Burke and holds a sweater against his broad chest. I want to measure against you, Matt. Stand up. Sure, and I will. On my head or my feet? <laughs> feet. Ah, you're standing mighty close to me, Anna. With my sweater you made with your own sweet hands. Only prayer or paralysis can save you now. I'm praying, Matt. Then it is a miracle if your prayers are answered. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. The sweater's for my father. He hates to stand up for measurement. What? <laughs> it is a lie in your throat, Anna, and you know it. You made it for me with your own blessed hands. And I'll be wearing it tomorrow when we dock in New York, taking you myself out for a day's fun. Oh, no, you won't. It won't be finished by then. What's more, I won't be going with you. Oh, yes, you'll be going with me. Just the two of us. Oh, no, I won't. Oh, yes, you will. I think... <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Red hots, red hots. Five cents. Step right up, fellas. That's it. Red hots, red hots. Get them on the That's ten of them I have now. Oh, come on, man. Let's do it again. Gee, you're strong. Oh, it is nothing. They build them too low. Here you are. Here you are. Test your lungs. Step right up. Blow the lung tester. Hit the bell and win a box of chocolates. Here you are. Why don't you test your lungs, Matt? I should test them. This fine pair of bellows that I got. I've got enough air in me to blow up a balloon. You said it that time, Miss. Sure, I. 
What do you mean I said it? Well, I mean, what do you mean? Well, I mean, what do you mean? Well, I mean, what Here on the wax work, ladies and gentlemen, every wax figure a work of art. All the love scenes of history enacted by wax figures. Anthony and Cleopatra, Romeo and Juliet, step right in. Cleopatra. Some more foreigners. Sure ain't there any Irishmen in the waxworks? Oh, honest, I'm having fun with you. I ain't having such a punk time myself. <laughs> Gee, Anna, you're a swell-looking dish. Ah, oh, Blarney. Not when I'm talking to you, Anna. The Blarney dies in me throat. I'd like to believe it, Matt. Oh, look, Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. You'll never land that dame. Why not? Why, the poor suave is on his knees to her. You don't believe in that? Sure not. A woman wants to look up to her man, not down on him as if he was a poodle. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking up to you, Matt. And I'm looking up to you, Anna. Oh, Matt. Anna. Anna, darling. It is a strange thing you've done to me. It's love, all right. There's a choking feeling in me throat, and me heart is beating like a trip hammer. And if it isn't love, then I'll never find it. A man like you, I thought you'd know a lot about love. I thought I did until I saw you that first night on the boat. Coming to me out of a blinding fog. The two bright eyes of you shining through the mist to light me way. And ever, ever since that night, I've been on me two knees to you, groveling at your feet. The same as I am this minute. On your knees, Matt? After what you just said? Ah, oh, don't be making fun of me now. I, I can't help it, Anna. It's more than love I have for you. It's, it's a kind of pain, like a heartache. Me that's not good enough to be kissing the shoe on your foot? No. Anna. You mustn't. You mustn't say that ever. It's true. Why shouldn't I? Matt. Oh, Matt, darling. What would you say if... If I told you? If you told me what? Nothing. I know what you'll be wanting to tell me soon. If not this minute. <laughs> that you love me, Anna. Oh, don't be so sure of yourself, Matt. I'm loving nobody. And that you'll be wanting to marry me. And maybe I'll be accepting you. You want to marry me? You mean it? Sure, and I'll marry you. Anna. Anna Lila. What? What's the matter, Anna? All time since you get back, you sit out here and look across the bay. You think about something, Anna? Maybe. Uh, maybe I know. You think you love that sailor fellow, Well, Anna? what if I do? Maybe you think you marry him? No. Why, I'm glad you don't marry sailor fella. Any girl marries sailor fella, she's crazy fool. Your mother tell you same thing if she was alive. That ain't why I won't marry. I ain't thinking about myself. I'm thinking about him. He's such a simple guy, like a big kid. I ain't got the heart to fool him. You fool him? By Jimena, you go crazy, I think. Yeah, I've been thinking I was myself the last few days. I'm going back on the stern and watch the boat. When Matt comes, tell him where I am, will you? Anna. Ahoy! Ah. Well, God bless who's here. And how's the world treating you this afternoon, Anna's father? Oh, pretty good, if it ain't for some fellas. Meaning me, do you? Where's Anna? Oh, she go out, look at the boat. I'll be going out to her. But first, I'm thinking I'll take this chance when we're alone to have a word with you. I'm marrying you, Anna, before this day is out, and you might as well make up your mind to it, whether you like it or no. Ah, that's easy for say. Is it the like of yourself will stop me, are you thinking? I stop it if it come to worse. Heaven help you if you try it. No, but there ain't no need I do that. Anna only have fun. She make big fool of you, that's all. That's a lie in your throat, the devil ninja. No, that ain't lie. She tell me when she come back before, she never marry fella like you. I'll not believe you. Ship away again. Leave Anna alone. Big fella like you that's on sea, he don't need a wife. He got new gal in every port. You know that. What? Why, you... You think I'm going to let her life be made sorry by you? Just like her mother's was made by me? No. She don't marry you if I got to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Glory be what talk is this from a stumpy run of a man. <laughs> 
Sure, it is a queer fool's bladder you have about the say done this and the say done that. You ought to be ashamed to be saying the like, and you an old sailor yourself. I'm thinking it is a poor weak thing you are, not a man at all. You see, if I'm a man, maybe quicker than you think. Put down that chair. Yeah, you. I'll kill Put you. Put it down. You poor fish brain swat. I've half a mind to hit you, Clout, that'll put sense in your square head. Hip off of me now, I'm warning you. <laughs> 